Today, you're going to learn how to create page transition animations with Swap.js. Oh, and hey, I'd like to point out this video's awesome sponsor, Skillshare.com, which offers thousands of classes in design, coding, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch my UI tutorial, but you could watch this full UI UX course on Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is just 10 bucks a month, but if you're the first 200 students to use my very exclusive link below in the description here in YouTube, then you get the first two months free. All right, so let's get started. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Coursetro. So today we're gonna take a look at something called Swap, which is a page transition animation library. And if you have a really simple project that doesn't need all the bells and whistles associated with something like Vue or React or Angular, then, and you do definitely do want page transition animations, then this is a great, uh, resource to be able to use. So showing you the example again, um, there's actually three different animations taking place here. Uh, if I show you, we'll see that this section here fades up and out, and also the button, it also fades to the, uh, it moves over to the left. So let me just show you again. So Swap will allow you to add multiple animations to your different UI elements, which is very handy. And coming up here, this is the GitHub page for it where you can check it out and learn more. Um, there's also, uh, if you want to do animation based on JavaScript, because Swap by default here is in CSS, there is Swap.js as well. And this can even be used uh, with uh, GSAP animations as well. All right, so there's a lot here. Uh, we're not gonna cover all of it, but I will definitely help you get up and running and understanding most of it. All right, so for today's question, what is your one goal going forward in 2019? Uh, we're almost there. So answer uh, in the YouTube comments. I'll put my answer there in the top pinned comment. Make sure you subscribe and let's get started. All right, so here we are at the uh, GitHub page for Swap, and it's gonna provide you with a lot of different information. Um, the part that we're gonna concern ourselves with initially here is just uh, installation. Um, and we could see that, um, I believe there is a CDN for it, uh, but I'm just gonna use this real quick to install it. So I have a blank folder here called swap in my code folder. And we're gonna um, go ahead and we'll go to view and terminal, and we'll just down here real quickly, do that real quickly and then We'll also create an index.html. All right, and let's refresh this. There we go. We have our node modules with our swap right there. So we'll just reference this real quickly in the JavaScript. Um, so right here in our index.html, put oh, I'm using Visual Studio Code, by the way, free code editor by Microsoft. Hit exclamation point to get some boilerplate, and then we'll get our CSS linked up here real quickly um, in main, and then no, CSS, I always do that, main.css. We'll create that real quickly as well. So we'll do CSS. If you watch my channel regularly, this is the drill when I'm dealing with just with a basic, pro, you know, vanilla JS based project, not use any frameworks. Um, I'm gonna use SAS here um, and you're gonna need the SAS uh, uh, compiler here for it's an extension for Visual Studio Code. You can just Google that and install it. So now it's watching our SAS file and it, it compiles it down to CSS. Um, what else here? And okay, well, let's just go ahead and get started by um, we'll do the HTML first, the CSS and then the actual implementation of swap.js first. Um, we'll get all that stuff out of the way. So uh, to get started, we're just gonna have a very minimal, um, it's only a few lines of HTML really. Um, we're just gonna have, just to fill it out and make it sort of the appearance of a web page with like a nav bar. We'll put in an, a, um, actually before we do that, we'll put a containing element just to bring it in uh, the, the, the whole website in, in terms of width. So we'll just have a div uh, of a class container. All right, and then we're gonna have a nav. Um, no, we're not gonna have an unordered list. I'm not gonna bother really with putting a, a fake navigation in. We will have just a um, an A element going nowhere just for like uh, a company logo or something. And then after that, we'll have a main with an ID of swap and then a class of transition hyphen fade. Uh, so you'll see I uh, the the ID here is important in as well as the the uh, the class and you'll see how it's important once we get to that section. 
Um, so let's put it in H1. Um, we'll put, we'll say home page here. We'll put in a um, P with lorem ipsum text. And then also underneath it, we'll put in a call to action. So a href is going to go to a sub page dot HTML. And then, um, We'll leave that blank now. We're going to add a class to it later, um, but you'll see in a second. Um, go to the other page, and that is it for now. We will also have another HTML element just to demonstrate another transition, um, but for now, that's good. Um, so right here, we're going to put a script, all right, source, and right now, we're just going to link it directly uh, from the node modules folder. Uh, and then we're going to put in swap dist and swap.min.js. All right. And then we're going to put in a script. And we're just going to do our inline vanilla JavaScript right here. And the only thing that you need to do, uh, which is in the documentation, just to get it set up with the, all the default options, is just to put const swap is new swap right here. All right. So at this point, Let's go ahead and head over to the CSS or the SAS page, the file, and I'm just going to paste in some basic uh, role sets just to get started. So, for instance, we have a body with a font family of Montserrat that's installed on my sheet, my machine, so I don't have to import it. Um, and then uh, we're also doing just uh, text decoration none on the links, and then a container we're centering it and putting it with 80%. Uh, also, our nav again, very simple stuff. Nothing too uh, exciting happening here. Also, we'll have our main element. So we're setting our width to 80% on the main element just to bring things in further. Margin 5 EM auto. Um, and then just styling up our call to action button right here. And that's pretty much all the basic uh, CSS that's associated with this. So if I bring back the sidebar with Control B, right click and go to open with live server. This is another extension. Um, this is what it should look like. And of course, we don't have a subpage.html, so let's go ahead and create that. So uh, I'm going to create subpage.html. All right, I'm going to copy all this stuff here and paste it in. We don't need uh, the script source or the include here at all. Um, so right here, the only thing I'm going to change. Of course, in a real project, you would have templating and all that stuff to avoid being redundant. But um, this is just for a quick demo. So a home page here, this will be the sub page. Home page here. And yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go uh, just for the sub page. As you can see, we're only changing just, you know, the fact that I, just so we could see it visually changing pages. Uh, we'll see the as well in the URL and in the browser that will update to subpage.html as well. So um, just keep note of that uh, and we'll see it momentarily. So now if we go and we click here to subpage, okay, we're at subpage, go to the home page. Oops, we got to update this to index in the subpage area. There we go. There we go. So now we go back here. Um, now it just goes back and forth. Subpage goes there. Index goes to subpage. Does it say homepage here? What am I doing? Subpage is there. This is the subpage. All right. And this is homepage, and it's going to subpage. Now, if it's if it's acting strange, I'm wondering. There we go. Yeah, I think this is simply because we've included the script, but we haven't yet done the proper transitions because it's not updating this content. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, define the most basic element. And, and, and basically, when you're using swap.js, you define the animations through CSS. All right, so uh, we'll get started. And we'll see, notice, as, as, as I mentioned before, the CSS classes are based on the prefix uh, with when it, when it comes to using swap.js of transi transition hyphen and then whatever you want to call it, custom animation. And then this will allow you to add multiple different animations uh, to multiple elements if you want to. All right, so our first one is transition hyphen fade. All right, so we're going to come down here. We're going to define that. 
all right? And we're gonna put in just a transition property of 0.4 seconds and an opacity of one. All right, so this is kind of the, uh, the, the, the original state. And then we're gonna put in html.is hyphen animating transition hyphen fade. And then in there we put opacity zero and then we can also do uh, multiple other animations, but we're just gonna leave it there for now. So now if I refresh, we click go to home page and go to the other page, it's gonna start working. And so now we have a very, very simple uh, page transition animation between the content that's included inside of the swap ID. And of course, like I mentioned, you can also do multiple animations here. So if we wanted to come, come up from the, from the top and go in and out, we could do a transform, translate Y, 100 pixels or so. And it, it takes it a couple times uh, just to get all refreshed. And there we go. And of course, you can make this go from left to right or right to left um, using all the various animation properties. So what if we wanted to have a second type of animation perhaps placed on the button where it does something different while being animated itself? Well, very simple. We can go to our index. Um, we're gonna put in a class in our button called, uh, we'll say transition hyphen, which is the prefix we need to add. So we'll put class equals transition hyphen, and I will say, um, what would we call this? We'll call this left. And then we'll go to, um, we're gonna close out sub page. And then we can go to main. I'm just gonna copy this and call this one left and this left as well. And then we can define our, any type of animation that we wanna apply to that. So we could do like, uh, let's see here, instead of opacity based, we can do, um, let's see, transform and we'll say translate x zero. And then over here, we'll do translate x at a negative 100 pixels. So instead of y, it's gonna be x. So it should be sliding in from the left. So uh, we could, let's see what happens when we also apply that to the sub page, the class. So if you take this and copy this real quick, and go to sub page, place it there as well. We'll see what happens. Very cool. So as you can see, we can apply multiple animations and they all work in conjunction with each other. And notice, you know, the URL is changing up here um, and it should be SEO friendly as well. Um, so very cool, very smooth. Um, let's try adding uh, another sort of one of those splash based uh, animation tra or tra page transition animations where, you know, it's maybe it's a slider type um, thing that kind of just consumes the page and then goes back quickly out um, once the new page has been transitioned in in terms of the content. So we'll add in in our index.html. Let's see here. We'll add in. Uh, just, I think right here, yeah, right after main, we'll put in a div with a class, transition hyphen, and we'll call this one wipe. And we're also gonna give it a, um, a class that we can style as well in CSS. So we're gonna go back there uh, into the CSS first, and we're gonna put in, let's put it up here, overlay. All right, and so we have a number of different properties that are gonna specify. Um, we want this to be something that just overlaps everything, so we're gonna put position absolute. All right, and also the width will be 100%, height 100%, as well as a background of red. And then also a left of zero, top zero, because we're using position absolute. And then we're gonna put transform, scale zero. So we're not gonna see it initially. Um, and then transform origin will be left. So it will start from the left when it's animating. Um, if I take this off 
that property momentarily and we go to our home page we'll see nothing exists because I uh, we haven't scaled it so now it goes away and we can use everything as is all right so now we can uh, create that animation for the swipe the transition swipe so coming down here we'll put in transition wipe rather I was saying swipe um, we'll put transition 0.7 seconds I'm gonna use uh, a custom easing from a cute the cubic bezier property and if you go to Google and type uh, cubic bezier generator or whatever you'll see um, how you can get these values based on how you want the animation in terms of time to play out and then also transform scale we're gonna do um, we're gonna scale it um, on the X axis all right and we'll set that to zero and then the final one here HTML is animating and of course is animating is added uh, to the Dom by swap while it's actually animating um, so that we can apply specific CSS properties um, specifically to transitions uh, wipe when we want it to animate so transition wipe right there and then we'll put in transform scale X one all right and there we go so we can see they all work in conjunction with each other we can see that this is fading up this is going to the left while this other uh, big sort of um, splash based animation is occurring I probably wouldn't use exactly this but this is just a demonstration to, sh to show you uh, some of the options and, and how you can multiple you can animate multiple elements using swap JS uh, for your very simple projects all right, so hopefully you found that useful. Make sure you answer today's question, which is, what is your one goal going forward in 2019? All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe and see you later.